Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this time we're going to find the generating function for a sequence given recursively. Um, in the first example, I'm going to have the sequence given recursively by a n equals 2 a n minus 1 plus 4 a n minus 2 with initial terms a 0 equals 1 and a 3 equals uh, a 1 equals 3. Uh, it might be helpful to write out the first few terms of the sequence. Uh, they are 1, 3, 10, 32, and so on. I'm getting those just from the recurrence relation. 10 was 2 times 3 plus 4 times 1, um, and so on. That might help. It also might help, just as our side work here, to rewrite our recurrence relation as a n minus 2 a n minus 1 minus 4 a n minus 2 equals 0. This might be helpful to remember. All right, well, let's go ahead and try to find the generating function. Much like we did with differencing, we don't know what the generating function is, so we're just going to call it a. a is going to be equal to the generating series. So that would be 1 plus 3x plus 10x squared plus 32x cubed and so on. We could go as far as we need. In fact, we only really need to go out to the x squared term to see what's going on. Now I want to take away two of the previous term from each of these and that's because over here in my uh, recurrence relation when I wrote it like this, I took away two of the previous terms and then I'll also take away four of the terms before that and I should always get zero. So to get, take away two of the previous terms, I need to get the previous term. So the 1 needs to become a 1x, so it'll be grouped with the 3, but I also need to do two of them. That's why I'm going to multiply a by 2x on both sides uh, to get the behavior I want. The 1 becomes a 2x, the 3x becomes a 6x squared, the 10x squared becomes a 20x cubed, and we could keep doing this as far as we needed. Now I also want to take away 4 of the term before that, so I'll multiply the sequence by 4 and an x squared, that'll move everything over 2 spots, giving me the a n minus 2 terms. The 1 becomes a 4x squared, the 3x becomes a 12x cubed, and I would keep going as far as I needed. But in this case, that's all I need. Now, what I want to do is I want to take my original generating series, and I'm going to subtract off 2xa, and I'm going to subtract off 4x squared a, and I'll see what that leaves me with. On the left-hand side, I'll have 1 minus 2x minus 4 x squared, that entire thing, times a. And let's see what that's equal to. Well, 1 minus 0 minus 0, that's 1. 3x minus 2x gives me x. And let's see what happens after that. I have 10x squared minus 6x squared, I'm down to 4x squared, minus 4x squared gives me 0x squared. Okay, what about the next one? 32x cubed minus 20x cubed minus 12x cubed is again 0x cubed. Well, of course it is. That's the way I set it up. Using this recurrence relation over here, if I take any term, subtract two of the previous ones, and four of the ones before that, I should get 0. So all of these would be plus 0, out forever. OK, well, this is good. I've simplified the right-hand side of my generating series, and now I can solve for a. I get a is equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 minus 2x minus 4x squared. And there I have it. That's my generating function. Let's look at another example. Here the sequence is given recursively by the recurrence relation a n equals a n minus 1 plus 2 a n minus 2 plus 3 plus this constant. That makes this slightly different than any other examples we've seen before. I also give you the initial terms here. Again, probably a good idea to write down the first few terms of the sequence. 2, 
2, those are given. To find the next one, we would do uh, the third one, or a 2 would be 2 plus 2 times the first term, that's 2, so that would be uh, 2 plus 4 plus 3, that should give you 9. After that, we'll have uh, 16, and then 37, and you can keep going on in this way. All right. Um, it also might be a good idea to rewrite the recurrence relation like we did last time. Um, let's get all the a something terms on one side. That'll give me a n minus a n minus 1 minus not a but 2 a n minus 2. I'm just going to say that's equal to 3 instead of equal to 0. So that's where this is different. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, try to solve using our recurrence relation technique. We'll say a is equal to, and write down the generating series, so that'll be 2 plus 2x plus 9x squared plus 16x cubed. That should be enough. Okay, I'm going to subtract off the previous term. For that, I just need to do x times a x times a will be equal to 2 becomes 2x. The 2x becomes a 2x squared. The 9x squared becomes a 9x cubed, and so on. Let's see, I need to take away two of the terms before that. So I'm going to do 2x squared a. The 2 will become a 4x squared. The 2x will become a 4x cubed. The next term would become an 18x to the fourth. I'm not even going to write that down though. All right, and now let's combine these. Um, I'm taking the first one minus the one before that, minus two of them, so I'm just going to subtract each of these line by line. On this side, I will have 1 minus x minus 2x squared, that whole thing, times a. That'll be equal to, let's see what we get on this side, 2 minus 0 minus 0 is 2. 2x minus 2x is no x. That sounds good. Um, how about 9x squared minus 2x squared minus 4? That gives me actually a 3x squared. 16x cubed minus 9x cubed, that drops me down to 7x cubed, minus another 4x cubed, that's going to give me a 3x cubed. What's going on here? Well, it's not actually surprising at all. Whenever we do a subtraction of these three terms, we should get 3 left over, because over here we have this recurrence relation. When we take a term, subtract the previous term, subtract two of the term before that, we always get three. Okay, well, um, in that case, we're going to have a bunch of threes here. What are we going to do with that? Well, this whole thing we can simplify using its generating function. This right here has generating function constant threes, shifted over twice, so 3x squared divided by 1 minus x. That gives me that generating function. I still have my plus 2. Alright, so now it's time to go ahead and write down the final generating function for a. This is this whole thing there, that's what that's equal to. Let me just make a little more room here. Okay, so what do I get? I get a is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus x minus 2x squared plus 3x squared divided by, well I had 1 minus x before, but then I also have my 1 minus x minus 2x squared. So that monstrosity of a generating function is my final answer, and there I have it. Alright, well I hope this has helped, and thanks for watching.